hey everybody and welcome back so I have another edition of monthly favorites so this is going to be an accumulation of everything that I've really been enjoying using over this last month countdown has begun I'm so excited for the holidays honestly there's so much about the holiday time that I love top three definitely in no particular order holiday food Oh my goodness, there's just, if there's any time to like gain weight without trying, it's holiday time because so many good foods that only come around this time are coming and I'm so excited that and um, I love little like holiday festivities like uh, like event type things where like neighborhoods like do super crazy um, lights and everything on their houses and their yards or whatever there's one maybe like 45 minutes away from me that's so cool I mean it takes a hot minute to get through it because there's so many people because they're like they go all out um, but that kind of stuff is so exciting I love that um, Anywhere that literally does that fake snow that's really like little bubbles, I'm all about that. Like, I'm like five internally and I love that stuff. And then, uh, what else? I feel like, um, I like the, the sense. Like, the sense of things change. Like, I love that, like, piney and, like, cinnamony apple scent and just, like, the smell that comes with the holidays. I love that being said, we're going to go into the, I actually have like a mix this month for once, so not just like makeup, so it's going to be a, an accumulation of different things. We're going to go ahead and getting right into it. I'm going to mention a face mask I've really been enjoying, especially since it's starting to get a little bit colder now, even if it's just a little bit. I mean, dude, in California, it was like 100 a week ago, I swear, and now it's like 70, 70s or so, which I mean, for anybody in California is like oh my gosh it's so cold mind you I love it I eat that I eat that for breakfast I love the cold weather but anyway this is the Dr. Dart water replenishing cotton sheet mask these are singles I'm pretty sure it's the only way you can get them that I'm aware of I think they're like seven or eight dollars so it's not like terrible I mean sheet masks are right around like that mark but this one is just really comfortable it feels so relaxing to put on because the actual um, fluid inside is kind of like almost like jelly-ish of sorts like not like a thick jelly but just kind of like a comfortable like it's as soon as it hits your skin it kind of just like adheres comfortably and since the actual sheet mask itself is cotton it is just the most like soothing feeling Mind you, I wouldn't mind, or I wouldn't recommend doing this, and like if your room is really cold or wherever you're at is really cold, because since this is that like has that cooling sensation, not like a minty cooling, but just obviously what's in here is just going to be closer to the temperature of whatever room you're in, and you might get cold. But if you don't mind that, this is a fantastic mask for hydration. It hasn't broken out me. It hasn't broken me out yet. So in case that's something you're a little bit leery of too. I like that one. I get minus four. A brush that I have been loving. Oh my gosh, great. The name is off. I used to have like the name over here, but I just noticed that it's like, even the real technique part is off. But this is a real technique brush. I really wish I knew. It's like a duo fiber. I want to say kind of like a duo fibery brush blush. But what I use this for is to set just like where I powder, which is like my under eye area, and a little bit right here. This is so nice because it lays down just a really fine um, blurred out layer of powder versus getting kind of like cakey and moving anything with the duo fibers. They kind of just glide along your skin versus necessarily being very densely packed and potentially moving any product that you have underneath. So this one you can either pat or kind of go in the swishing motion, whichever you feel more comfortable. But I really have been enjoying this brush and it's affordable, I believe. Yeah, I got this one at Ulta, but they sell them at like... Dude, te Real Techniques is, it's advancing now. They're a Target, so I mean, mostly all Target around them. Or access to the internet for Ulta. I have to re-mention this. I mentioned this in a favorites, I don't know how long ago, but I'm literally at the very bottom. There's like, there's like nothing left in there. This is such an amazing, affordable powder. It's by Cinema Secrets. It's the brand I get mine at Sephora, or you can buy this at Sephora, I should say. 
It is the Ultra Lucent Setting Powder, and this one is colorless. I believe that there's two other shades, a darker one and a more, like, neutral toned one. This one is, like, a white translucent, so it's not like a Laura Mercier where it has, like, a nude translucent appearance to it. But this is so amazing, and it's talc-free, which I really try to look for as much as I can. Obviously, if something really excites me and it's not, and I know that it's, like, from a good brand, I'll get it. But if there's an option, I'll always choose talc-free. And this is, I believe it's only, like, $22. Like, $22 or $28, one of those two. So it's so much more affordable than other brands, and it has lasted me forever. It's amazing if you are looking for a new powder to try this is so underrated and it's fantastic so once again cinema secrets get it at ulta it is such a great setting powder i try and switch out my highlighters like on a monthly basis only so i can get use out of them all and this month mind you if i don't like it i'll straight switch it right after that and be like nope this isn't the one this isn't the one <laughs> but I went back to like an OG highlighter favorite, which was the Mary Luminizer. Like this has been out for so long. I remember when I bought this, it was when people first started really talking about it and I was like, ooh, that kind of sounds exciting. I'll try it. I bought it and I liked it, but then I just started to really collect at that point and kind of just got lost in the mix. But I've been using this one all month and it's so good. It's such like a... Uh, next to universal maybe not 100 percent universal but pretty it reaches a wide range of like skin tones so it's like a champagne highlight that tends to be what i go for i just feel like this one is really finely milled so it doesn't look like just like a stripe of powder on your face it doesn't have any glitter particles or anything that's going to have cause fallout on your face and it just blends out beautifully without looking like too much mind you, you can build it up it goes on probably like a like a medium finish highlight i want to say so it's not like a natural highlight but it's not like a blinding highlight unless you want to build it up which you can definitely do with this and i do appreciate that so you can kind of just mess around with the overall intensity of it when you're putting it on but this is a great one. Oh, i know that um the bomb is coming out with a new highlighter i can't remember her name but it's like another like female name highlighter and i think it's a little bit more gold than this one or rose gold one of those two but it looks really pretty so maybe i'll pick that one up <laughs> maybe i'll get it for christmas it's probably more of an accurate statement at this point a another product which is the nars velvet lip liner in the shade el agua this is such a pretty i need to sharpen it it's like a little nub right now which is great about nars fun fact like the little sharpener is at the bottom i'm sharpening it right now but i'm not close to a trash can but this is like a really pretty mauve shade lip liner it goes perfectly with like when i'm wearing on my lips right now but i love 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 mauve lips all year round but especially in the fall and the winter i just feel like this is one of my go-to colors and it just is really really creamy so it's not an overly waxy formula but it's also not extremely creamy to the point where it'll just swipe right off if you put another product on top of it or smudge easily. It's kind of like that perfect in between like a, wax, a waxy and overly creamy. But these NARS, NARS is just a great brand in general. I really enjoy the quality of their products from this point. <laughs> and the lip that I'm wearing is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Dusty lilac i love this these are such an amazing formula for a gloss because they're highly pigmented they're not sticky they have like a nice fragrance but i mean it pretty much dissipates as soon as it goes on your lips so if you're sensitive to smells this isn't obviously going to be an issue for you for the most part and it just comes in a huge range of colors which you can intermix too i mean you don't have to it's fun to mix and make your own colors with these or any other lip product, I guess, for that matter. But this is just, it's a nice orchid shade. I just think that it's really pretty and it's subtle, so it's not going to be the center of your look, but it kind of just goes into like a naturally pretty look. 
And then the last lip product is my current favorite red. It's so stunning and it's so affordable, which is like so exciting. It is the Wet n Wild Cut Suit Liquid Lipstick in the shade Missy and Fierce. This is amazing. If you are looking for a red or price is like an issue for you currently, this is amazing. And it's only like $4.99. Sometimes you can get it at like CVS, buy one, get one half off or whatever. So you can save even more if you want to get two. But this is a stunning true red. There's no orange in this whatsoever, which is what I love. It's a very thin, comfortable formula. It dries down completely matte, but it's not overly drying and it stays. I wore this yesterday from, what time was it? Probably like five in the morning until like 10 at night. So it was a long day yesterday. It was a long work day yesterday, but this stayed on all day. Mind you, I am cautious about how I drink from like a water bottle um and just like when I'm eating food I'm not a messy eater in general so it rubbed off a little bit in the center which is to be expected but other than that it doesn't crumble or flake or just make you feel like your lips are the Sahara Desert and super duper liney um I can't recommend this enough this whole line of the catsuit liquid lips from Wet n Wild is beautiful there's so many pretty shades and this is one of them and then going along with the whole holiday theme in the beginning i'm gonna mention a candle this is from trader joe's so if you have trader joe's near you this is awesome it is the um cedar balsam scented candle it is a hand poured candle made with natural coconut soy wax blend mixed with aromic notes of warm cedar wood and sweet balsam lead free cotton wick this is just what the little tin looks like they have a like multiple different scents i just love the smell of like fresh pine trees so it's pretty close to it this is one of those things where you really wish that like you could like have somebody smell through the camera <laughs> this is such a like like warm and cozy feeling i wish that i could just light one of these in every single room and just have it smell like christmas tree for the next two months straight like if I had my way, that would be everywhere I walked, it would just smell like a Christmas tree. So if you're looking for a good um, candle, especially if you um, don't like the lead weight candles or like the ridiculously artificially fragranced ones, this is awesome. I'm pretty sure it's pretty affordable too. I don't remember the exact price, but it's not like an astronomical price by any means. And then lastly, I want to show a pair of shoes before I go. This... Is a pair of sneakers. I love sneakers. Like, I'm a comfy girl at heart. Like, it's rare that you'll ever catch me in a pair of heels because that's not comfortable. But these are like, like a, this is like a highlighter on a shoe. Normally I'm not down for that, like, overly, like, gaudy look. That's just not my jam. But these are beautiful. Like, it only really, like, catches that ultra glimmer in, like, natural light or obviously, like, studio lighting. But it looks pretty subtle. I don't know. I just think those are so pretty. Anyway, um, I got these from Macy's. It's from the Kenneth Cole, I believe. Yeah, Kenneth Cole Reaction is the brand. Let me see if I can get the style name. Yeah, all I'm seeing is K A M dash E R A, and it's rose golds. But anyway, these are so pretty. So if you're looking for a pair of sneakers, I purchased these ones at Macy's. Anyway, that's it for this monthly favorite. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you very soon in my next video. Bye.